The special task force to recover 1MDB assets said they were surprised by Goldman Sachs' move to initiate arbitration proceedings against Malaysia. This was because both parties were currently in the stage of good faith discussion to resolve any dispute over Goldman Sachs' obligation on a 250 million US dollar interim payment. Task Force Chief Johari Abdul Ghani said that, however, in light of recent events, the government of Malaysia will be preparing to respond to the matter and ensure that the process is done diligently and in accordance with the established legal frameworks. He added that they will also ensure that the interest of the Malaysian people is safeguarded. Johari explained that Goldman Sachs was obliged to pay the $250 million on August 18, 2022. Following this, he said Putrajaya had agreed to extend the deadline four times. He said each extension was for a three-month period and the latest and fourth extension was set to expire on November 8. Johari explained that this meant that the parties were still in the good faith discussion stage and the government viewed Goldman Sachs' move as premature and without due consideration of necessary prerequisites. Johari added that the action appears to be an attempt to detract and divert attention away from their obligation to stick to the interim payment under the settlement agreement.